there, welcome back to my channel. My name is Alyssa and I'm really excited to have you here today because I am going to show you how to make a lightened up version of one of my all time favorite takeout dishes, Pad Thai. So this Pad Thai dish uses zucchini noodles instead of rice noodles and has a really delicious peanut butter sauce that doesn't have any oil, sugar, or extra additives or anything that you would find in a takeout version. So it's incredibly easy to make. It's actually turned into a salad instead of a cooked dish, so you don't have to turn on the oven, which is always a plus in my book, and you are going to love it, I know it. So keep on watching and I'll show you how to make it and we'll dive right in. first thing we'll need is a zucchini and when you're picking a zucchini for spiralizing you want to make sure it's fairly uniform in shape and about an inch and a half in diameter. Then we'll use some red cabbage, some red bell pepper, some cooked quinoa, two scallions, a little bit of cilantro, and also some peanuts which I forgot to film. So before we dive into this recipe I wanted to show you the spiralizer that I use. This is the in spiralizer and you can find it on Amazon. I'll leave a link below. But what I really love about this spiralizer is that it has this little dial that you can turn that adjusts the shape of the noodles that you get. So unlike other models where you have to change out the blades, this one you just turn the little dial and it changes the shape of the noodles. So as we get to spiralizing, the first thing we're going to want to do is slice off the ends of the zucchini. And because my zucchini was pretty large, I actually ended up cutting it in half. You don't always have to do this, but I find that sometimes it's easier to spiralize. And then we're going to clamp the in spiralizer down to the counter, and you're just going to insert the zucchini, put the little core and the prongs on the other end, and then you'll just go ahead and spiralize away. This really is such an amazing tool. I can't believe that you can turn vegetables into noodles. Look at these zucchini noodles. I mean, it looks like regular pasta. It's amazing. So once we are done with the zucchini noodles, we're gonna use the mandolin slicer to slice up some red cabbage. And I just shred it until it's finely chopped and you can see here it's super fine. Just add that into the bowl with the zucchini noodles. And then you'll go back to the mandolin slicer, don't need to worry about cleaning it, and do the same with the red pepper. You can just do it whole, which is really awesome. And because it chops it into kind of large chunks, I end up just slicing it a little bit more so that they're a little bit more manageable when you eat them. So I'm gonna add the red pepper into the bowl, and then it's time to slice the scallions. So just slice those little ends off and go ahead and thinly slice it. I used two scallions, so you can really do more if you like or less, um, but just slice until it's done. Add it into the bowl, and then you'll do the same with the cilantro. You'll just finely chop it. This is probably a quarter of a cup. Add that into the bowl, and then once you have the cilantro in there, you're just gonna pour in your cooked quinoa and your peanuts. All right, here are the ingredients we're gonna use to make our peanut sauce. We're gonna start with some creamy organic peanut butter, the juice of two limes, two teaspoons of gluten-free tamari, and also a teaspoon of sriracha sauce, some ginger powder, and then enough water to thin the sauce out. So we'll start by just adding in the creamy peanut butter, then we'll add in the lime juice, the tamari, the hot sauce, and you can leave this out if you don't like spice, don't worry about it, the ginger and water, and then you'll just mix it until it's smooth and creamy. Once the sauce is totally smooth, you're just gonna pour it over the rest of the ingredients. And then using tongs, I just use kitchen tongs, you're just gonna toss everything together until the dressing is completely coated and the zucchini noodles have softened a little bit. Then all that's left to do is to serve your pad thai salad and make sure you get all the goodies that end up falling at the bottom of the bowl like extra peanuts and scallions. And here you have it. This is a totally healthy, guilt-free, so much better than takeout pad thai and I know you're gonna love it. And there you have it my friends. That is how to make my lightened up pad thai salad with zucchini noodles. In case you can't tell from today's video and my blog, I am absolutely obsessed with my spiralizer. It's a tool that I use multiple times a week for lunch, dinner, everything in between. And if you don't have one already, I highly, highly, highly recommend that you pick one up. I'll actually leave a link in the description box below to the one that I use and recommend. It's the one that I used in today's video. And I think it's by far the best one on the market. So if you are in the market for a spiralizer, I definitely recommend that you pick this one up. 
If you enjoyed today's video, I would love for you to give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to the Simply Chemo channel on YouTube yet, I would love to have you join our community. I'm gonna leave a button up in this little corner that you can click and subscribe automatically. So I look forward to seeing you in the next video. And until then, I hope you guys have a beautiful day and I will see you around. Talk to you later, guys. Bye.